that, that the optics of the first major uh, conviction of the Me Too era of, of having him walk out of prison is, is devastating to, to so many people. Um, and, you know, I, I don't think that that's something that, that many people are going to get past very easily. No, this was truly unusual and shocking and, and very disappointing, obviously. I think with Cosby and Weinstein and the Kavanaugh hearings, all of those things, I think, shifted our country fundamentally, shifted the world probably fundamentally in terms of what is acceptable and what women have to put up with. And I think we got to a point in this country where women said, we're not going to take this anymore, right? We're going we're gonna to stand up. We're going to fight back. We're going to speak out. Uh, and I don't think that has changed. I think that the rules now are, are different. Um, and I, I think to some extent, the Me Too move, movement has been overshadowed by things like uh, COVID and Black Lives Matter and all of the things that have been happening in this country. But I still think uh, when the dust settles, we're still in a much better place than we were several years ago. And I think that's a direct result of the Me Too movements.